So this is going to be a quick little tutorial on what I've discovered for the DNA sequencer. And so we'll just start with a new one. Um, we'll go with some easy stuff. And we're in here. So we need to wait till, I don't really mess with the algae. We need to wait till we get one of those. So I took a clipping of it. And I'm going to plant it just so we have a couple of them going. Right, so they're pretty basic, right? And I took a clipping again, and then I hit X to go, or you can hit the science thing, and I drop it into here. And so the first thing, you can do the almanac. I don't really do that much, but you can discover it. It tells you a little bit about it. It's apparently a soft stock yellow plant. Anyway, go to Eddie Gene, and what we would need to do is sequence it. So it's sequencing it takes two minutes, but as you level up, um, you get better at it. So we will let that go. Hit X to get out. And then while that's going, I'm going to look for sort of a, an easy mutation to spot on one of these. So you notice this one? It got another little node here. It's actually getting taller. So if I take this clipping and save it, we can analyze or compare this uh, to our analysis of our first one to sort of isolate where the size or the height plant codon is. Um, let's see if we can maybe find color. That's a really easy one to see. Well, okay, so there we go. We got a different color that we can analyze. And as we have skipped to the end here, we've research level two reached. Anyway, uh, so if we go in, our original one is here, and it's we've got our, our codons and stuff. So we need to store this, and so we've got some slots down here. You want to hit the upside down triangle, I guess. What side up is a triangle? Anyway, um, so it's got our monocot, and then if you hit the little folder un underneath it, uh, it brings the same thing down here. And so I'm just going to sell this, get rid of it. It's the same thing grown over here. Uh, this first clipping that we took, if we go in and place it, uh, it was taller. And so we're now, this DNA up top is the new clipping that we took. And down here was the monocot that we analyzed. And so we can scroll along here. We find one where they're different, highlighted. Now, there might be more than one. I think it was just the one. But we'll put that in as something. We'll look if there was anything else. Ooh, there was more. We've got two features. All right, that was it. So this first one. You need to look at what, what type of amino acid you have first. And then I've got a chart uh, with the amino acids that I'll, I'll, I'll share with you. And so you need to use ones of the same type to even have a chance at being successful. So this alanine one is in the aliphatic group on my table. And so I can change it to any of those other ones. And let's do, um, let's do TTG. So now we're at TTG, and we need to do the radiation. Um, at this point, it could die, just even if it's successful, it could still die, or it could be successful and live. So um, it seems sick, but notice in the picture it got longer. So if we want to get a long one now, clip a new one, put it in here, feature one, We'll probably want to change this to height or something more. And then I use colors just to make them look better. So again, let's do that same TTG. This, again, it was sick. Um, let's grow some more clippings. All right, so there it was successful. And it said, you know, not sick. So now we can take this and we can place it over here. And so now this one grows really tall. And we can take clippings from this now. Um, however, it's this is now a reed. Um, whereas what we, our original clippings, these were still just monocots. So you'd want to see that up here. Um, the other one, we had another feature. Um, this is in the same group. Uh, let's try another one in there. ATT. Again, you'll have to look these up on the table um, or memorize them, but 
Uh, so that was sick as well. Uh, that may have been the thickness of it. I, I wasn't quite sure on that one. Um, anyway, we've got this one, which was a different color. And so, ooh, right at the beginning. So again, we're analyzing this one versus that first saved one down here, and it always highlights the differences. And so I'm pretty sure that this is just, uh, we'll call this stem color. Pretty sure. Uh, same group, aliphatic group. Um, if I do a nice ATA, this will be like a blue or purple, I think. Yeah, even if it doesn't live, if it gets sick and dies, we'll see the change here. Yeah, so it got sick there. Um, so if we did still want that, we just keep taking clippings. Stem color, again, it's not different this time, but we've marked where it is. So this lets us go back in, try it again. Sick. Take another clipping. ATA. That one lived. This one actually has a different uh, stem type. Uh, but then we can go ahead and plant that, and then now we've got these. Again, we could propagate them, make more of them. Uh, so that's how you find the different characteristics of the plants. Now, again, uh, this reed that's growing is not going to have the same genome as the, the monocots uh, or the seaweeds. They all have their own. Um, so let's go back into one that I have. Um, a nice thing is once you start getting different multiple different characteristics, you can very quickly just go up to here uh, and switch between whichever ones you have labeled. It's a nice little feature. And again, it does work the same way with, um, let's just plant this. It works the same way with the worms and the, the fish and stuff. So you just select one, go into here, there it is. You need to sequence it. Uh, it'll take a couple of minutes. And then you'd click on a different one, one of these, and then just compare the two, highlight the differences, and then play around. So that's what I've figured out so far uh, with the, the gene sequencing. Uh, again, I will, I will share a link to the chart that I use uh, for messing around. They need to be in the same numbered row. So that's the secret there. Uh, if you do have questions, post below. Uh, I'll do my best to answer them. But uh, that's, that's about all I know so far. So.